Hi everyone, how is everyone doing today? I'm on my way to New York to attend the master class with Desi Perkins and Katie and Maybelline. You probably all know who Desi Perkins and Katie is, so they don't need the introduction, but they are the biggest YouTube stars out there. They are amazing at makeup, so I'm excited to check out their tips as well. And we are cutting it really short. Actually, I did a wedding in the morning I just finished my bride so I'm kind of late but hopefully I will make it on time and yeah I'm excited to take you with me and I hope you continue watching so stay tuned so this is my area <laughs> this is very close where I live you can see the giant stadium the MetLife stadium the Super Bowl was here a few years ago and we're just driving the highway but yeah, we're going, we're 25 minutes away and I have to be there in 27 minutes. <laughs> oh my gosh, crazy. So we are getting close to Lincoln Tunnel. It's the tunnel that connects New Jersey with New York. It's underneath the water, underneath the Hudson River. You can already see the New York skyline looking pretty, even though it's a little bit muggy, but we are making it. And that's the Liberty tower in the distance over there this used to be my nine to five five days a week commute <laughs> before so i know this road very very well so we are about to enter the tunnel and i think it started raining a little bit i hope it's not gonna be that bad so here we are <laughs> so we just made it to new york of course there is a red light whenever I'm in a rush, in a hurry, there is always a red light. Okay, let's go, let's go people. Can you feel the anxiety with me? <laughs> Where's the green light? And there is an Empire State Building right here. I hope you can see it in the distance. Traffic per usual, but nothing too crazy, I hope. Yay, we're almost there and only six minutes away, so <laughs> perfect timing. And we are in the meatpacking district. You can see the High Line over there. It's like a nice visitor attraction, tourist attraction. Everyone is beeping, everyone is in hurry, including us. So we're making it the left and it should be right here almost. Over. And you see all the cool buildings and don't mind my belt and I think that's the building okay I'm going there guys see you soon inside all right so we are here my lovely friend good to see familiar faces so this is the stage Hi. and we are waiting for Desi and Katie and with Melbourne, we are at the Samsung location. Looking fab. So let's have a look at the space. So we are lucky because we are seated, but there are more girls upstairs. There are much more people upstairs. So it's gonna be exciting. And it's like the time around Fashion Week, so it's really crazy. Everyone is tired. Talk to me about how you got into makeup and how that 
that led you to be best friends? Well, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, we'll take that one. So what's funny is I actually started doing this because I was in between jobs. Um, I left a job that I wasn't really passionate about, and I wanted to do something just fun, just for me, like nobody telling me what to do, what not to do. And so that's why I started actually a blog back in the day. And then uh, my husband John suggested that I do videos too, which I was like, I don't know. I'm really awkward in front of camera, it's going to be weird. And so then I just started doing it, and it, it was like a, a real passion of mine. It was so much fun, and then it just kind of took off from there. All right, shout out to John for the videos. Yeah. <laughs> All right, how did you get into the beauty industry? Um, you know, it was kind of an accident. Uh, I've always been into art, painting, drawing, and Stephen needed a costume. Actually, we both got into it because of our husbands, I guess. Accident. <laughs> I was an accident. Um, and Stephen needed a Halloween costume. And there was a thing, YouTube wasn't as big as it is now. And I had just discovered it, and I saw people doing special effects makeup. So I thought to myself, like, let me just try that real quick, see what happens. And that night we went out and people were asking who did his makeup. And I was like, uh, oh, me. And they're like, do you do this for hire? I said, yes. <laughs> I never did anyone's makeup, like, besides my friends in high school. But I just kept saying yes to, like, everybody who asked me. And they started booking me. And I went out and, like, got all this stuff to make a kit, you know, because I'm a makeup artist. <laughs> Uh, that's probably how I got started. And then Steven forced me to download Instagram, which I didn't want to download Instagram, you guys. I was like, I can't do another app. I have Facebook, I'm very busy. <laughs> and um, he was like, no, look, it has filters. Because when it first came out, it was all filters. And I was like, oh, that makes me look really nice. So I was like, let me get that app. And that's how it started, like, for the filter. I love looking at like celebrity makeup artists. I, I feel like it's so different from what we see on just like typical Instagram makeup. And I love looking at their techniques. They're so skin focused and I feel like they're so good at just enhancing um, just natural beauty. And I love looking at that. All right, oh, so I love Nancy, her. <laughs> you can tell me about the look. I'm telling you about the look? Okay, yeah. so. Okay, so this is um, our beautiful model here. And we have her already with a red lip. And we're gonna go for a really nice soft glam and give you guys some tips and tricks as to how to accentuate the Cupid's bow. This is like Katie's specialty. She's so good at it. She does it for me all the time. Um, just to get the maximum glow and kind of just playing off a soft glam with a bold look. I feel like one of our favorite looks to do, you guys probably see it often, is that we love to do like often we do very minimal eyeshadow, but really more focused on the skin and skin. Bump it up a little bit with the bright red lips. That's so she already has amazing brows, but I'm just gonna comb through them. And then what color is this? This is blonde. So I like to start with the tail and kind of fill it in more in the tail and then really fluff it up. So 
usually I put bronzer in my uh, socket okay. because I feel like it has a more natural look. Yeah. And then I even bring it into the nose area. I feel like using your bronzer too is always such a good compliment to like the red lipstick. And you can put the bronzer up here. I've watched a lot of uh, master classes or celebrity makeup artists. They love to put the bronzers right up in here. And it's just a light diffusing to where you can also connect that down to the bridge of the nose. Thank you.